Kevin Cole, it's the afternoon show, KEXP, down in the performance space. So happy to have Shabazz Palaces uh, here this afternoon. Welcome back. What's up, Kevin? How you doing? It's great having you, Ishmael yeah. Tendai. How you doing? Doing fantastic. Good. Where are the pythons? In the lobby. <laughs> in the lobby? Yeah. Excellent. As long as they're not in my office, waiting to surprise me. Yeah. Nobody knows what we're talking about, or if you do, but uh, man, you've got the greatest publicity shot, <laughs> Ishmael, with two giant, beautiful pythons, a couple different shots in a parking lot, uh, just awesome, very awe-inspiring. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Um, how about some music, then we can uh, talk about the new record. Cool. of my wealth, lost but always found before the idols that I know, strategy, the only way to try, look keep it do or die and only think in terms of I, revelry, some legend futures past, revelry instead, for it renders hella fast, capital, a soundness on the rise, it's slaking unrealized until essence has been raised, sepulchre, a stage alive by ghosts, Floating off with bags of the blood encrusted dough. Far sure, quite simply, it is him. His black affiliate, pedalistic, pedestropic hymns. Darkness, the light that flashed and dead. The kingdom stellar layers to which my kind is the heirs. Pasquin, the justice game of vice. The criers said, culprits slain during heist. They just walking around, they walking around. They just watching down, they watching down. What they talking about, they talking about. Ain't no copping out, no copping out. From a couple bars cut in the deep zones. A sunken ship with the ghost tones. They put my secret name there upon her plot skin. Under the chair hot, tucked in the dope spot. So the Rome tires screech every time we dip. We converse in the ancient languages. If you come to see us, this is what you'll get. Specialness, equipped for the long trip. Yeah, and my jacket fits. Yeah, and I'm packing it. Me and my guy so miraculous. And it's statuesque. Legends carry like a killer's nerve. One picture's worth a thousand swerves. These facts stated to enhance with his pre glow. I dance with the white whale on the peak rock. And find my way fast when the road curves. It's a seesaw. Shall I go? Shall I go? Mom, look at me fall. Did I know? Did I know? Cause here, on a gilded wing. Rockin' filthy rings Go back, go back, you should go back Yeah, you said it cool, but it's all hat Shall we raise a drink? Bro, put the thing It's for whom the angels sing And my favorite color brown with pink I, be I believe to own his ease And I'ma hold the chrome a tight grip Yeah, they might trip, boy Cause the way we do this get enjoyed But they just walking round, they walking round They just tweeting loud, they tweeting loud What they talking about, they talking about Ain't no copping out, no copping out were exaggerated, misrepresented, hiding behind weakness, they 
never really did nothing, had nothing to show for the nothing that they did. So took to the internet and uh, tweeted loud. But in the end, all they was really doing was leeching barnacles on a sinking ship. Suckers. Shook. Yeah. Mimic. God. Mimic. God.
live on the afternoon show here on KEXP. That mimicking God line uh, reminded me of a quote from Nikos Kazantzakis that is, uh, create an idealized image of yourself and try and resemble it. Wow. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Great sounding uh, songs, and uh, congrats on the new album, which sounds fantastic. Thank you, brother. Thank and, uh, man, it's really amazing making music that sounds like no one else. And that's what you guys do. I appreciate that, man. And uh, congrats on that, and also just getting a lot of attention for the new record, too. There was a great piece in the, uh, in the New York Times, and yeah. NPR did a nice uh, bit, and so did The Guardian in the UK. Wow. Yeah, it's been going good, man. I mean... Aside from just spending a lot of time and working on the album and finishing it up cool, all the people that work at Sub Pop been really doing their thing. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, they're fantastic. It's 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 uh it's got some good results. So we've been appreciating that and just soon gonna be going on tour and trying to see how them records sound going out and about, you know? Well, it sounds fantastic. Just heard two songs from the new album, Ishmael and uh They Come in Gold. The new album Les Majeste, nice, nice. Which is French for an offense to the uh, dignity of royalty. So, what's the significance of the album title to you personally and to the uh, album itself? Really, man, just like leaning on suckers, man, like Duckworth in the paint back in the days for the Portland Trailblazers, man. A lot of everybody <laughs> out here is just like, it's a lot of good musicians in in in, in our city and all around, and everybody's just doing their thing, and it's really about working creating something not really talking about what you are doing but really just being about what you're doing you know so we try to embody that and that's what the record's really all about so you've got a, a group of folks you work with the uh the black constellation group tell me about that that's our brothers and sisters a uh, bunch of fresh individuals you got oc notes where we just heard a couple of songs from him yeah. always sounding fresh can't stop to the satisfaction Fly Guy Die over here in the Chimarenge Ch Renaissance. And um, Nep yeah, Sidhu, Makoyo Ali Koyo, Barnes, yeah. Kat Stas, you know, so that's our folks, man. All who work together, inspire each other, work on different parts of projects with you guys? Always. Yeah. So what was the approach to making uh, the new album, and uh, how did that differ, if it did, from uh, Black Up? Um, I don't know. The, the main thing I would say... Um, would be that we had the studio to record everything in that we was able to build and construct from scratch down in the Rainier Breweries. When you did Black Up, you didn't have like sort of a home studio? No, we had studios in our homes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you've made uh, your studio your home. Yeah, right. exactly. How important is a physical space to head space? Huge. Yeah? Huge. Yeah. Creates the atmosphere and the environment to be yeah. creative? I think so, you know. You can relax and... You're not on no time constraints of any kind. And so when you go in the studio, do you just uh, do you constantly roll tape? Do you write and then go in and record? Do you improvise in studio? Do you work independently together? A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. um, I wish we rolled tape all the time because we lose a lot of music. So, but That moment that you then like, oh, that was awesome. We need to recreate that or capture yeah. it. Yeah, that's that happens <laughs> probably eighty five percent. Really, of the time. Yeah. you got to roll tape. You got your own studio that's now. True. We got to be AIR always in record. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Seriously. So, if you do a lot of sort of improv, are there certain rituals you have to get in the right space to uh, create magic? <laughs> do you uh, meditate or go uh, run a half marathon? Um, Dive runs the half marathon. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to quote my man, Mate Koyo. He said that we are always in various transcendental states, which yeah. in this state is legal to be in. So that's one of my reasons. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but not really, man. We just, we've been getting along as bros and just like playing music for so long that it's almost like another extension of myself and vice versa. When I know if, if he starts a beat or if I start a beat, Whatever comes in that he does is going to be fresh. So that's just like having a, a real plush net to land on when you nice. jump off of some musical cliff, you know? And that can transport you and take you to that space and you feed off each other creatively then. Yeah. For sure. Um, so what about the lyrics? At, wh at what point do they come in? Do you <laughs> they come in at all points, too. 
you know sometimes you could start off with a lyric but a lot of times you know we get a groove down and see what the groove kind of feelings the groove might might invoke you know so it can happen anyway and you and it happens anyway a lot of the time mm -hmm. tell me about the new record i've heard that it's kind of separated into a number of astral suites yeah. like two two four song combinations yeah uh, did that happen while you were making the records or uh, the record or uh, did you piece them together and uh, feel like they uh, they flowed in a certain way once they were all done? Um, it's like we make the music and there's a lot of it. And then the themes of the record, whatever we was thinking about or um, influences or just certain new machines that we had or whatever, they start to pronounce certain um, similarities with other stuff. And then you start to see things like sweets and, and song titles and stuff arise. So that stuff comes really late in the game. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and the word astral, I got to give a shout out to Frank up at Sub Pop. He came up with the astral <laughs> sweets. And, you know, he told me I had to credit him every time. Way to go, <laughs> Frank. Yeah. That is awesome. Um, so uh, you premiered the record, right, at the Laser Dome. Yeah. How trippy was that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, that was Frankie too. We didn't, we weren't there. We was at a Chima Range show that night. So, yeah, Dave. Uh, said I should it have was, Frank in here. Yeah, <laughs> you should actually. Um, nah, but it was a good. It was cool because I noticed every time it got mentioned after that, they always mentioned, oh, they, you know, they premiered it at the Laser Dome, and it just in writing, it looked cool. So it gave right. us a nice little. Nice little springboard. It, it you know? sounds great. Exactly. Right? It's, it so works with the music, which is so thick and kind of mysterious and mystical at the same time and, you know, transports you to different headspaces. So that is awesome. Shabazz Palace is live in studio here. Now, uh, you toured a lot for Black Up. Is that the same plan uh, for uh, Les Majesté? Yes. I see the first tour date coming up in... Uh, a couple of weeks, August 21st, uh, Washington, D.C. Yeah, the Black Cat. Yep. And then uh, the next shows in the neighborhood are in Portland, uh, September 27th and 28th. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Um, but it, is this like a long <laughs> thing for you guys? Are you going to be... Uh... Man, I mean, if they call and ask us to come, more than likely we're going to go, you know. So we, we feel fortunate to be requested to go and do shows and travel and stuff like that, so... You know, um, our agent Robin and, and also overseas, we're going to get over there in uh, October and November. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be traveling around quite a bit and presenting the new new tunes and the old ones as well. And a few new dance moves. Well, yeah. we, <laughs> we we feel fortunate to, uh, to have a new record and also to have you here on KEXP Live this afternoon. So Shabazz Palaces, how about a couple more songs? Let's do it. Knowing now he's 
is in the show. Retainers paid out, trying to map the play out. The streets is undefeated, really not, there ain't no way out. The world is closing up, go re up, fix your cut, peel your eyes, sky your chains, and maybe you can style a truck. Plots and capers, lots of flavor, watch your neighbors, plots and capers, wondering who's real, who's fakers. We in the breeze, waves. Yeah, to be us, it takes leaps of faith. The main question, you don't ever ask it, history say, it's the casket or the basket, you like past that, let's get blasted and mask up. A whiz kid, who could poly like a diplomat, the last place you could think of where they sit you at. 80 miles from your sink, where they sit you at. Life's a bitch, treat her good or she'll get you back. Cause down there at the top, I can't find nothing. 
Shabazz Palace is live on the afternoon show. KEXP sounding so great and uh, so fun to watch you put this music together live, too. Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. Two songs from the new album, Forerunner, Foray, and Motion Sickness. The new album is fantastic. Les Majeste. And uh, Ish and Tendai, thank you so much for uh, performing live this afternoon. Really love thank it. You for thank you, us. Kev. You got the smooth voice over there, too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while we're thanking folks, Kevin Suggs on sound, thank you so much. Kev. Jim, Jenna, and Justin on video. We'll have video on the blog, I'm, su- uh, I'm sure, really quickly, uh, as well as photographs that Dave's taken. And uh, big time thanks to uh, Reeves and Jen and Larry Rose behind the scenes. And while we're thanking folks, might as well thank Frank again, too. <laughs> Frank, man, thanks. Frank. <laughs> it's KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.